Royal Enfield expects 2018 to be a breakout year. Two years after the manufacturer from India started a North American subsidiary and brought distribution in-house, Royal Enfield is launching three new models. Two retro models, the Interceptor and Continental GT, both of which are powered by a larger 650cc parallel twin engine, and the smaller sport adventure bike, the Himalayan. Royal Enfield North America President Rod Copes attended the Progressive International Motorcycle Show in New York earlier this month and talked up the brand. When we started Royal Enfield North America two years ago, we really looked at it as a two-phase process. The first phase was establishing the infrastructure, the processes, the systems, and the dealer network. We're well on our way. We feel comfortable with where we're at. So in 2018 is really phase two, which is about the brand and about the products. So the new motorcycles will be very critical to really reestablishing the motorcycle brand in the United States. So the Himalayan and the Parallel Twins, we think is coming at the perfect timing. Up until now, Royal Enfield has concentrated on 500cc and in India, 350cc models. Stepping up and building larger models wasn't made in haste. There was a lot of discussion about should it be a 650cc or a 750cc. And the company chose 650 because it's a good step up from what they are building in other parts of, and selling in other parts of the world. From the 350cc, which is the most popular in India, going to 650 seems manageable. Going to 750 is a little intimidating. And then even in the United States, going from the 500 to the 750 seemed a little bit too big of a jump. So the 650 seemed like it fit both mature markets as well as emerging markets. And believe, we believe it's kind of the sweet spot of the middleweight segment that a lot of people, a lot of other manufacturers have gone away from. While the fit and finish on the new models appears good, What's truly attractive about them are the MSRPs. Both twins will cost less than $7,000, while the Himalayan will sell for $4,500. Royal Enfield has always been focused on the middleweight segment, and we've all been about, even in India, being an aspirational and an accessible motorcycle brand. And so definitely, when the twins were in the design phase as well as the Himalayan, it was all about how do we make a really nice motorcycle but it be accessible, and our term for that is affordability as well. Royal Enfield dates back to 1901. It started in England and in 1955 launched a partnership with Madras Motors to produce motorcycles in India. When the home office closed 50 years ago, the branch in India continued, and this year will produce more than 800,000 motorcycles. Royal Enfield is becoming a true global motorcycle company. For 50 or so, you know, over 50 years, almost 70 years, it was primarily focused in India, for India. And as we came on board, and as we're selling motorcycles in other markets, we're truly upping our game in every aspect of the business. The capabilities of manufacturing, the improvement in quality, design, and development. And it's through incorporating new people, new talents, new skills into the company to really step up our game in all aspects of what we do. Which brings us back to 2018, which will be a crucial year in Royal Enfield's history. It's our coming out party of Royal Enfield in the United States. It is really showing our commitment to the United States motorcycle industry. And this is the product that we really needed. It needs to be a highway, you know, a motorcycle customers can take on the highway and have high confidence in the durability, the reliability, and the quality. And this is gonna hit it all day long, plus be at an accessible price that all different age groups and interest levels can afford.